Hey everybody, Jeremy Senpai here. Thank you so very much for clicking on my video. I do so hope that you like what you have to hear. If you like what you hear, then please feel free to hit like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Also, if you have any commission ideas that you want to hear from me, you can always send me a message over on my Instagram completely free. Now, let's get into the audio. And as usual, remember always, keep calm and put your headphones on. Now, let's get on to it. <sighs> it's hard to believe just how peaceful this island is. I mean, we're such big name pirates now. Some of us even have over a billion berries on our heads. And yet, it seems people want to leave us alone. Honestly, I think we're actually pretty lucky to have found such a small-time island where people kind of mind their own business. That's a good thing, because we really, really need to resupply. Seriously, Luffy, you eat enough for 50 crew members. Ugh, so much so... I'll have to convince Frankie to install ten fridges, and knowing Luffy, he'll probably go through them in less than an hour. <sighs> oh. Alright, let's see. We've got meat for the next week, plenty of alcohol and water. <clears throat> now Frankie needed cola, Robin asked for coffee, Chopper wanted some sweets and candies, Nami wanted to make sure we are stocked on fruits. Hmm, looks like all we're missing at this point is the vegetables. Uh, and of course, my favorite assistant is taking care of all that. So, it's only fair that she takes care of it. Uh, carrying all this kind of wears you down after a time. Plus, she was insistent that I stay here with the bulk of the groceries while she just goes and takes care of the rest. Hmm? Oh, there she is, coming back from the market. Hello, sweetness. How are you doing? Uh, thank you. But are you okay? Why, yes, these are the vegetables that I asked for. I mean, I wrote down every one of them, specifically what we needed. For the next uh, few weeks or so. I mean, no telling when we're gonna dock again. But are you okay? You look like you're a bit troubled. Like there's something on your mind. Well, how are you feeling? Are you okay? I... I know you're saying that you're fine, but still... You look like you're about ready to cry. Come on, did somebody say something, or... None of my business? If someone said something to you, or anybody on the crew, then that is my business. Leave, leave you alone? But, hey! Uh, don't, don't talk to me? If that's what you want. Alright then. Now... Can you... Can you at least help me get all this back to Sunny? As you can see, there's a lot to carry. Thank you. Hey guys, we're back. Luffy, don't eat it all. Chopper, save those for later. But, hey wait. What's wrong, Sanji? Uh, damn, this fish bastard. I'm not sure, Jinbei, but it seems like our new recruit is a bit worried about something. Well then, why don't you go talk to her? Well, somebody's gotta take care of all of this. Wow! Uh, just leave it to us, brother. We'll make sure that Luffy, Chopper, Usopp, and Brooke don't eat the lot of it. Alright, thank you, Frankie. 
but what about me? I was thanking... Uh, I was thanking Frankie, not you, fish brain. Hmm. Did I say something wrong? Uh, it's hard to tell with Sanji sometimes. Obviously, he's concerned about our recruit. Now, come on, Jinbei. We gotta put everything away before it either spoils or it's eaten before we leave before we even leave port tomorrow. Whatever you say. Uh, still feel like that Sanji just has an issue with me. Oh well. Luffy, uh, that's supposed to be for all of us. Hey, um, I know you told me to leave you alone, but look, I can't let this go. Can we talk? I can tell by your voice, you sound like you're on the verge of crying. Now can you please let me in? I want to respect your privacy, but I'm fighting off the urge to kick the door down if I have to. Thank you. Now... Come on. You look like you're about ready to cry. Come on, your face is swollen, your eyes are red and puffy, and you can barely get a word out. Now, come on, tell me what's wrong. Take easy breaths, collect yourself for a minute. Feel at least a little bit better. Glad to hear. Now, please tell me what happened. Okay, yes, I remember back at the store. We were back at the market. We were there less than 10 minutes ago. I stayed with the bulk of the groceries, and you went to go buy the vegetables. Okay, you went to buy them. You were paying for them. And another customer asked you where you're from because you don't look like you're from around here. Understandable. I mean, people have been asking that too. I'm almost convinced that our wanted posters are, haven't made it here yet. Sorry, sorry. Go on. He, he asked about you. But because of your amnesia... You don't know your name or your life before you joined us. And you felt sad about that. You felt horrible because you don't know what your life was like before you met us. Yeah, I guess that brought up some pretty bad memories. Or, sorry, lack of memories. Honestly, I can't imagine what it's like to... Forget who you are and where you came from. Granted, part of me wishes I forgot where I came from. But someone like you is a different story. You don't deserve to lose your memories. If it was up to me, I'd do everything I could to try restore your lost memories. Help you remember the beautiful life that you had before you joined us. Ah, <laughs> uh, there you go. If hugging me makes you feel better, then by all means, go right ahead. <laughs> Let it all out. You're sorry. You have nothing to be sorry about. Don't stop apologizing. You are just... If nothing else, you deserve to be more upset than I am. Yeah, you said some harsh things to me, but... I'm pretty thick-skinned. Just ask my sister. <laughs> Thank you for the kiss. <laughs> you don't want to say anything else bad to me, huh? Well, I'm sure it'll happen again sometime. I mean, this is me we're talking about. I mean... I'm sure that at some point I'm going to mess up again, and if you want to be angry with me, then by all means. I definitely understand. I mean, I myself don't know what it's like to ever lose my memory, 
but I can imagine it's especially stressful. But I promise you, at some point, we're gonna find out what happened to you. We'll find you. We'll find you your home. We'll take you home. Of course, if you want to stay with us, that's fine too. But come on. Now that you've cried it out and talked about it, do you feel a little bit better now? That's my girl. <laughs> See, there you go. <laughs> that smiling, flustered face of yours. It's everything to me. All right. Now that we've got all that taken care of, we say we celebrate with some dinner. I know what makes me feel better is stuffing my face. Of course I could use your help. I love it when you help me in the kitchen. Now, let's get moving. Hopefully Frankie and the other one took care of all the groceries. Yes, I mean Jimbe. Yes, you... You heard me talking with them as you walked away. Come on, let's just get started on dinner. Knowing Luffy, he probably wants his tenth helping by now. Let's get going. All of us. Together. <laughs>